everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. The holidays are here and it's time to bedazzle your guests. And today on Cravings Food Adventures, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious crispy goat cheese tart. This tart has a lovely crispy pie crust, a goat cheese filling, it's topped with pomegranate jam, and it's ooey gooey delicious. These tarts are great to make for the holidays because you can make them a few days ahead, warm them up, and just top them with the pomegranate jam before you serve them to your guests. Let's start with the pie dough. I've made this recipe so many times before, but today I'm gonna to add something a little interesting to it. I'm gonna start with 10 ounces of regular all-purpose flour. I'm also going to add a stick of butter. This is about four ounces, and I've grated my butter. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, and two teaspoons of chopped rosemary. Now rosemary is gonna add a really unique flavor to the pie dough. And 120 ml of really cold water. I'm just going to mix this all together until it forms a lovely dough and then I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap and leave it aside for half an hour to rest. I'm going to crumble some goat cheese. I've got some delicious goat cheese here and it literally just crumbles all by itself. I'm also gonna work on some pomegranate as I'm gonna use it as a garnish. Now the best way to actually peel and clean a pomegranate I found is doing it in a large bowl of water. It's so easy this way. When you usually try to take a pomegranate apart, it sprays you with the juice and you can land up with stained clothes. But this way, all of the operation is done underwater and keeps everything under control. All you have to do is skim the top for all the little pieces of pith and strain it and you've got pomegranate seeds to eat. Once my dough is rusted, I'm going to take it out on a floured surface and I'm going to roll it and I'm gonna cut circles using a cookie cutter. I've also got a mini muffin pan that I've greased and I'm gonna take my circles and I'm going to press them into my mini muffin pan. Now don't worry, as you're pressing them, if you have any holes at the bottom, you can just patch this up with some additional pie dough. I'm going to put these in my preheated oven at 350 degrees and I'm just going to blind bake these for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm gonna pull them out and I'm going to add some of my crumbled goat cheese in and I'm going to return it to the oven for another five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna take these out of the oven and now for the fun part, I'm gonna transfer these onto another plate and I'm going to top them with a little bit of pomegranate jam, some extra goat cheese. I'm going to add some beautiful little pomegranate jewels as well as a tiny bit of rosemary. These look as good as they taste. I do hope you enjoyed this recipe. I have so many recipes. I have new ones that come out every Friday. Make sure you're subscribed. And this video is part of the 12 days of Christmas. I have some fabulous recipes to get you to the holidays. So make sure you're clicking on those links. Until I see you again, take care, bye.